The Opposition National Democratic Congress over the weekend had a press conference on the illegal mining scourge. Among the many demands is that they are asking government for an account of the 900 excavators seized at the illegal mining site. They are also demanding an account of the thousands of ammunition seized at these sites. This morning on Daily Run, we are asking how is it that we are not able to fight the illegal mining scourge? Is it the involvement of politicians or the fact that we've relegated the institutions mandated to bring sanity to this sector? This is the Daily Run. Let's keep talking. The major problem is greed on the part of Ghanaians, not necessarily on leadership. Leadership will do their best, like the president will give a directive, the, oh, I want to uh, keep the menace. Like in the year 2013, President Mama set up five member of the ministerial committee to fight Galamse. By the time of 2016, now their, ups, their hands were up, up, saying that they, they couldn't fight. To the extent that Mama Yerga came and was saying that the president should find another means of fighting it, not using the intermediary, because when the intermediary are just in Accra, they come up with policies. If the policy doesn't trickle down, then there's going to be a lacuna. Second, there will be a galam saying to be a fighter. Then, of course, you should have an alternative live, uh, livelihood alternative. That's the man. I did be able to my yeah, honestly, about to an answer. Quanano, it's not about greed, it's about what is happening economic wise. Sometimes I'm an old quad or Ghana because I'm paying you to my yeah. That means they may not be too much. Or you know, you can't have a father and answer about what you know. It's the need to make you know the career. It's the problem. Problem. I don't know the career. But problem. I don't know the present. I will find out about. I've been more careful. I've been your corner. About for the business, business, small scale miners. Or paper. We know how to go about. Girl, I'm saying on it. On it. You know, you know. But you can't have a father and answer. Of course, we have to fight it because it's American. And so as this year, I'm there. All the water was full. Too much heat. No one pump it. But as we speak, better three weeks. That's the kind of talk about baby news. Because intake now, as I say. It is as a result of very relaxed laws that are not able to be implemented by the necessary agencies. Our constitution mandates us to create a ministry like Mines and Energy. Now, if you come and you sidestep its clear mandate and you add other agencies to it, they now think that, oh, we have other people who are coming to do, we will leave our core mandate. For me, I am into private sector. When the activities of Galamse started seriously, we had no less than 50 kids that were drawn from private schools because their parents were into Galamse. And that is why it is that there is no alternative job than what they would do, and that is illegal mining. So the economic condition also contributes to the fact that somebody felt that, look, these activities give us quick money. Some soldiers even prefer joining van than going to peacekeeping. If you watch our water bodies and you begin to look at the damage, the activities of these illegal miners causes, you come to realize that at least we have lost it all. And because of the, the breakdown of our inability to enforce certain regulations that we could have implemented. I believe the uh, under this regime, President Nakufado's regime, he started the fight very, very well. Especially, time, even the worker, the world started fighting, or the even alternative livelihood be there, or be there, them community mining. As of now, they have integrated about 80 community mining co uh, committees, uh, they are in place working to serve as an alternative livelihood to the eradication of the Galamse. I believe the one of what they do on the one fight, the menace, you know, they should be committed because you see, the president believes the Galamse must, must be ended. But we cannot do it uh, single-handedly. You know, the main uh, vanguard, Galam Stop, and now all other interconnected uh, agencies, you know, they must be committed and stop the uh, underhand dealings that we are all hearing, uh, they are being alleged that they are happening. Because for me, I wouldn't want to be happy there. I'm not, I say, if I, if I, we used to be positive you know, every day. And it is it is a reality. But let's just find a way of solving it. On any day, I wonder what they to me on the one year. Because actually the minerals and mining arts now it is very clear. It's still clear there. Say so H will be all your illegal mine now. The processes the person must go through. But here is the case uh, We are all hearing certain things that machines are getting lost and all those things. For me, that is not the best. So you were many people and the president or the by now I resign. Because when he was coming, or could be there, say Galam saying to the president is not Bobon. 
As we speak, the Minister for Environment, Obi Otuma Abon Kwedudo, Ono, Sebeke, Cape Coast Vice uh, Chairman, uh, former Vice Chairman, uh, uh, what better what better excavator acquire mine now? What's what acquire what I had a mine and what I'm saying why with the scab what MPP as a party and the president as a president no also pretend to MPP though. In some kind of the ministers, the party painfully general secretary no mean they are into illegal mining. So how can he fight the illegal mining? Are you following? Because always a bus stop and one case of campaigns in pain for our benim on one way galam say. I am the professor from Pomp Watts and Nadi and I want where professors and you know when you mean them oh yeah. If you look at the act, the act says that if you seize any equipment, it is supposed to be dumped with the police, not a district assembly. So if you go and put an excavator in a district assembly whose political head is a party man, who this party man is on record to have brought money, the time they were doing fundraising, and you tell me that you can keep that excavator. So our first mistake is that we have departed from the law itself by saying that go and put a police station. If it is missing a police station, we will hold the police a, 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 a accountable. Secondly, these politicians who should pretend the interministerial team where head of political heads and ministers come together, they are also the same people where party leadership and fat constituents who one or two of them who probably might have sponsored a political party at any, any level, comes to complain that the very hand that laid the eggs, that you enjoyed those eggs, they've seized those excavators. So you need to go and do something. We can still go back and do the corrections from where, wherever we are making mistakes, especially engaging the chiefs. Because every community or every Galamsey site is located in a, in a community where we have chiefs, you understand? So that uh, rapport now, what developing, the interministerial committee in developing with the chiefs at the time when I was starting the fight against Galamsey, you know, I believe that we should engage them. We should engage those who are the uh, illegal miners themselves. Because you see, they, they even find a way of training some of them at, the, at UMAT so that they will, not go, they will do responsible mining. All these things are there. We have very good. Uh, policies and programs but the problem has been its implementation and greed so for me we should allow the law to work especially the minerals act if you look at the situation where major mahama no na the word one on court to we fight here am we because of them same garam say and if that has happened now your government appointees who are not committed to fighting the crime at us there is a criminal activity and my can one person ever fight a crime you are you've also indulged in the same thing to them i'm mr mental i can one person is easy and excavators and it's easy we are all not care mine any so why should i also sit down all cast was greed greed is it on the part of the government or on the part of the individual as now so if it cuts across why do pain one person one person that's one i come worry now can i pay within your ball said mr but the boss in take you will cry I go there and I ask myself, so what are we doing to ourselves? And in Ghana, for the Madi area, if there's an outbreak, are we even prepared health wise? Are we even prepared? Have we lost this fight yeah, or there's still hope? Fight. We lost the fight because if a government that's the president says that I'll put my presidency on the line and started very well by ensuring that an inter ministerial committee is set, ensuring that chief alias people are sent to Yuma to train. You come and do a bullet point presentation about your achievement. And that thing that you did, if you had done very well, it would have been one of the achievements. Did you see that in did you see that in Bahumia's presentation? That tells you that we've lost it up. It would have been one of the major achievements that look, we started doing the we kept interminable committee, we set people to go to human, we found alternative livelihood for people. As a result of that, we've gotten to this stage. This Plans were put in place. Excavators were seized. A minister comes to say that some of them are missing, and you seize them. Tells you that the one who you seize is excavating. Ah, now Kofu, you are serious, sir. You say we should stop this thing. No, no, that you take advantage of that. The president, if actually meant that he, he is putting his presidency on the line should begin to fire individuals to know that you are coming to dent my image i won't allow it i won't allow it because i'm telling you that if we had woke up one morning to hear that two or three people directly involved were fired by the president who says that i want to you begin to see the very people because look there is no evidence anywhere that any of them sold these guys cavities and dumped it in the president's account mm. it means that it's as a result of greed on the part of officialdom to 
to tell us a very man who has used his whole life in fighting for power and get there and you do this. I think that we have not lost the fight. And I do cry Oshem in crying here. What she in the we see when the allegation started, he was reported to the police and he was arrested. That one should let you know that the president will not joke with anybody who meddles in Galam say Even even others are all finding one who in problems like this. They too, they they step aside and then allow the investigation to go on. These are the things that should tell you that Galam say we have not lost the fight. But I'm saying that because it is a human institution, we should continue to fine tune and make sure that we get the right people to lead the charge. And I'm sure that we in this government, MPP government, they have the men now who may lead the charge. You see, we have lost it because uh, we have lost the fight because we have Sabaka. Abra Aisha one issue bay. Ah, yeah, chin. A backer, a year cast and a senior minister record. Do Aisha one put the Oka woman call because why the China from home and loans? Look at this situation. A president, look, your president is saying the honor is committed to the fight, not the president's are at all. I and it's underlined. Nessa Waba, not the Munko for today, which we did Aisha one. As we speak, the senior minister is still at post, isn't it? And remember, oh, Akadama, that is why you were giving the mandate, isn't it? As we speak, I wonder why you want gold to cry, gold, what did you cry? Accounted for. So what can we do? So what, what can we do to win the fight? You see, what we can do in there, if the president wants to win, the, uh, you know, win the fighter. Onje there, or the number of people in the room, or many separate uncovered police to the moment. The president and his, you know, ministers, all the officials in the government should also put a stop to what they are doing because what we know in there, they are also indulging in the same act of a fight. Into someone with Jaya. So, Kukuku Kunijaya, the character has been painfully jet away, I'm saying now. Ordinary Ghanaians will be jay.